Hi everybody, it's June, June Angel Pews. I decided to carry on <laughs> and do another um, video. I was going to call it a night, but here I am again. Um, okay, now look at this beautiful little collection. And this, oh the images just are fabulous. Um, this, these are from um, Avril Plummer. Um, Avril lives in Christchurch in New Zealand. How wonderful. I don't think I've ever had anything from New Zealand. Uh, have I? Yes, I think. Oh, I don't know. It might. I might have done, but. Oh, nevertheless. Nearly emigrated to New Zealand. Yep. Yeah. Many years ago, not long after we got married, um, we decided we wanted to emigrate. We never wanted, it was a big thing then that you, you went over to Australia, but we didn't fancy that, we fancied New Zealand. Um, <clears throat> we tried for a baby, which we assumed, you know, would happen straight away and it didn't. So we sort of thought, oh well, it's not going to be, or not for a while, so we'll go, um, we'll emigrate now, we'll do it now, we've made the decision. <coughs> Sold the house and most, well, all the furniture basically, just personal possessions we'd got left. And guess what? Yes, of course, you know very well, I got pregnant, didn't I? <laughs> So we, we wanted to go ahead, but um, I, I didn't, and neither did my hubby want me to um, go over until the baby was born. Um, so we decided that he would go first, <laughs> worst thing we ever did, um, he would go first and uh, get a house, etc., get things sorted, and then myself and the baby would follow. Cutting a very long story short, he got dreadfully, dreadfully homesick. Um, I'm, I'm led to believe uh, years later that he, he knew on the boat going over that he, he wouldn't settle. Um, he rang me, um, <clears throat> put the onus on me. I didn't want to leave my family, you know, very, very close-knit family. Um, so I said, oh, come back. So that was it. He came back, so the dream wasn't to be. Um, he wasn't qualified or anything, so we couldn't get assisted passage. So we spent many, many thousands of pounds um, getting over there, plus uh, our personal possessions, all dutifully packed up in tea chests, which is what you did years ago. Everything going aboard went in tea chests. A lot of the things were smashed and damaged because I suppose, you know, they weren't too careful. Um, yes, yeah, so that was a very expensive and um, sad outcome. Looking back, yes, definitely wish I'd have done it. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't to be, and our marriage indeed wasn't to be. Um, 13, 14, 15, 14 years later, um, we said goodbye. Right, so that's another story for another time, if ever. <laughs> Been on my own a long, long time now. And you get set in your ways, you know. <laughs> so, right, off we go. So let's have a look at these. This is gorgeous, look. So, um, obviously knows that um, I love my ballet because it's very... LA theme. Oh, sorry, that's um, the details, which I didn't want to show you. I hope you didn't, didn't um, get past you. Um, so, it's Avril Plummer, and she's from Christchurch in New Zealand, as I said. The YouTube channel is the same as her name. Um, date of birth, November 46. Sorry, yes, 21st of November 1946. So, it's exactly the same age as me. I'm um, in March, I'm, so I'm a few months older than you. I like shabby sheet, vintage, mixed media, fabric and some paperwork. 
A variety of colours, cream and ivory and gold, vintage pink, dark and pastel colours. I probably like most, lol. I can't really say there's anything I dislike. I think I'm pretty easy to please. Well, that's good. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I love that card. Oops, sorry. Love the card. And look at this dangle. It's a super beaded bead. I love it. And I won't forget that, will I? Because it's, you know, super duper. And then look at this. Look at these images. Or oh, this image, sorry. I said that because as soon as I saw this, I thought I've got to go and see if there's a collection. Because this is one of the um, <clears throat> famous ballerinas, of course. Prima ballerina of the Victorian era. And indeed, there is a beautiful collection. So I'm so pleased. Thank you very much, Avril, that you sent that. And I was able to um, go online and see the collection. Look at this gorgeous card. Look at those. It's just so beautiful. The yellow roses. The tiny, tiny ballet shoes. Can you see? And the charm there. And made for you by... Um, sorry, miles away here. Um, by Avril, yes. And then inside... I'll show you those in a second. Oh. Hello June, thank you for giving me the opportunity to join your challenge. This is the first snippet roll I've ever made. I thought about it and I did add it to my list of things to do. The amount of people that have said this is the first snippet tube. You know, somebody roll, sorry, not tube, snippet roll. Some um, people said they just never heard of them. So it's a wonderful um, challenge in terms of, you know, pushing you past your um, comfort zone and doing something a bit out of the ordinary, isn't it? Um, I had thought about it and did add it to my list of things to do. I certainly enjoyed making it and hope you get some pleasure from it. Ooh, I get more than some, my love, darling. I get lots of pleasure. I've tacked or pinned everything on small images or on fabric and can be added to a project if you wish. I do know that you love ballet, so I thought a few things... Um, so I thought a few things along that line would be appropriate. How lovely. Thank you so much, Avril. I'm afraid like large spools like hen's teeth are like... <laughs> Start again, June. I am afraid large spools are like hen's teeth. I love that saying. In New Zealand, very hard to find, so I thought I would just roll it up. And I think that's very wise. It would have added tremendously to your postage costs. Um, so that's, yes, that's absolutely fine. Thank you so much. I've sent you half a mannequin, scented for your wardrobe. I've been work, working on these over the last few weeks. Oh, lovely. I'll look at that in a minute. I've been crafting for quite a number of years and always loved sewing and did a lot of knitting when the children were small. Oh, we've done exactly the same. My two had everything knitted, just everything. Crocheted a little bit, you know, when they were babies. I've been uh, with YouTube almost a year now and never thought I would be brave enough to make videos. But there you are. Oh, congratulations. Now, I will go onto your... I think I might have done already. But I will go onto YouTube and give you some support. And I'm so glad you've done videos. Because once you start, you can't stop. I know my first one. You'll see it if you go onto my... Um, introductory video oh gosh I'm so nervous don't know why because you know how at me now I never stop do I I love your channel and I did pop in to watch long before I joined at YouTube stay well June lots of love from your YouTube friend Havel. how absolutely lovely I'm delighted to meet you um, via YouTube and I think we will become good friends so in that beautiful card, um, Avril sent me these uh, images 
of Marie. Um, oh, they're just beautiful. Look, and you've got the. Um, this looks as though it's from Giselle. Let me get a little nearer. Hold on. It's that um, veil that I can't see anything, but I think that's what it. it there is writing right at the bottom, but I need to get my um, um, magnifying glass on it. I can see 1992. So there's probably a Dover book or something similar with these images. But yeah, it's the veil that made me think Giselle. But it is beautiful. I love these images. So thank you so, so much. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm thrilled. I really am. Gosh, I've been so blessed. I really have with this challenge. That's lovely too. Gosh. The history of ballet is absolutely fascinating, you know, when you get into it. Well, ballet per se is just marvellous. And for those who didn't know, I only I got into ballet by default really. Um somebody got me tickets to go and see uh, Matthew Bourne's Swan Lake. I'm sorry if people have heard this before, just whiz it on if that you have. Um now Matthew Bourne is um well a very famous choreographer, was a ballet dancer choreographer. Um and uh well, designer of ballets. He's produced some amazing work. And Swan Lake was a really new um, thing, if that's the word, because the signets were played by male, were danced by male dancers. So it was a lot of contemporary dance, and uh, you know, linked in with ballet. A lot of people didn't like it. Apparently people walked out. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to be, oh dear, very bad. I can't remember the year it first came out. But anyway, I went to see it at Birmingham Hippodrome and oh my goodness, I cried like a baby at the end. <laughs> the dance was absolutely amazing. Front row, well, I'm always on front row because of my legs. I need that room, you know, my crutch or whatever I've got with me. Um, and... <laughs> Some people find this revolting, but part of the experience for me, it was just, I was just um, over overcome with it all. You know, the costumes, the um, everything. But I was saying that as some the dancers, particularly the male um, principal dancer, as they were doing their dancing and spinning around, their sweat was... <laughs> literally flinging over to me I mean it sounds revolting doesn't it but honestly it was fabulous I fell in love with this and I thought right as I was going home on the train I thought now nah, this is me I love this what can I do now what shall I see and I thought I really need to give traditional ballet a chance because it just did not ever in all my childhood teenage years young mother yet nothing did not appeal to me whatsoever but I decided I would go back to the Hippodrome um, when <clears throat> it was advertised that uh, they do the traditional Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake <coughs> with you know, the, the women as the signets and swans etc. So off I toodled and just I was hooked. It was like somebody threw me the line you know, and pulled me in. <laughs> Oh, the whole thing, I just, oh. So I go to class on stage now, I go to every everything that's um, on in, in, uh, in the Hippodrome. Well, anywhere really, but particularly I go to the Hippodrome. I'm, I'm thirsty for knowledge about ballet. It's amazing. So that's my story about ballet. There, right, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you so much for those. I will treasure them. Well, I won't just treasure them. I will do something with them. Beautiful envelope, look. Isn't that lovely? 
thank you so we'll open this Oh, it's nice washi tape. Oh, this is what you meant when you said you... Oh, how lovely. Oh, and it smells so nice. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. Would it help if I put it on there? know whether I can do it or not. Yes, look. My thumb is just on that hanging. I will try and avoid my face. <laughs> you don't want to see it, I promise you. So look, isn't that gorgeous? So it's in the shape of the um, waist up of the um, body form, dress form. Gorgeous fabric with the... Um, Put it down now, June. <laughs> With this dangly lace as the shawl come shoulder piece. <gasps> ah, and then look the neck piece there, and then that lovely little bit of bling there, and the smell. Oh, it's gorgeous. I wonder what what it is. What the perfume is? Not lavender. Very subtle, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to run over to your channel and see what you're up to. Oh, I love it. A bit of lace, look, on each corner. What a lovely idea. Super. Look, Jean, another idea for a pin cushion, if you do get to see this. How lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so let's now put those up there and we'll open the oops, the snippet roll. <clears throat> Because it looks lovely. Napkin, they were out in napkins, by the way. Oh, that was the the dress form was in that one. Isn't it lovely? I found hundreds of napkins in the storage. A lot of them were ruined, I'm afraid, because of that horrible. <sighs> Say no more. I should get my hair off. <laughs> So here we are, Here's, it, it, you know by what I'd read out that um, Abel had folded um, because there was no snippets, no sorry, no spools over there, but I think she did the right thing. Oh this is lovely, look at these, how sweet, yeah they're obviously all the way along. Gorgeous. Mm. And then the closure is like this small brass kilt pin with that beautiful image of the cherub. And then gems. <gasps> Look at that lamp work bead. <gasps> That's beautiful. So that's the three beads, sorry. And then the heart. Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you so much, Avril. So let me open that. <coughs> With my silly old fingers. I'm dropping things now. And I've no idea what I'm going to drop. <laughs> when I'm going to drop it. It is a bit of a pain. It just, it just slips. You know, sometimes you you get the feeling it's going, so you try and grab. No, it just bump, gone. I don't know. I, I had a lovely set of six um, tumblers that were um, music notes and um, 
music, the, oh dear, the vintage music papers that um, were on these glasses, shop bought, so, oh beautifully done. Um, there were six in the set, I've got one left. <laughs> Had them for years and then one after another I've dropped them or broken them. Right, so let's have a look. So the first thing is this gorgeous, gorgeous dangle here. Can you see that? It's crystal, AB crystal. <gasps> it's gorgeous. It's pinned on, look. Let me just take it. While you look at that, let me just take it to have a look myself. Oh yes, I can see now. And then underneath that, look at that gorgeous piece of lace. I'm going to let that drop. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is so, so lovely. I can't get over these. Yet the, the work and the... the coordination of the the various elements is just amazing it's stunning honestly everyone I see is just amazing I am so touched so humbled by what I have received I cannot I can't describe how I feel I really can't so honored to, to hold and to to feel these things because they're all very tactile. Beautiful little flower look. Look at this gorgeous lace underneath. <gasps> Fabulous. And then this, this is a glass. Is it glass? Sorry, I'm going to have to bring it. I've got to look closely. Oh no, it's a handmade, it's a fabric button. She's made this herself. Isn't that beautiful? And that satin flower, the hand rolled with, sorry, I'm going to have to go again. Is it a button? I don't know whether it's a button or um, something from a piece of jewellery, but it looks vintage to me. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. Then we've got an image. And of course that image. <gasps> I could cry. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely lovely. Thank you so, so much. That beautiful image is of a ballet dancer. <gasps> oh. Again, so tiny. And must learn how to resize. And this is printed on a, a lovely fabric. Oh, it's gorgeous. And look. Pinned at the bottom are these golden um, ballet slippers, ballet shoes. With, held it with the ribbon lot, you know. the. Oh, it's just lovely. That tiny, tiny flower. Underneath is that fine tool. You may not be able to see that, I don't know. I need to go back again. Yeah, the little hand that says... Handmade. Oh. I just, I thought that's what it said, but I wanted to make sure. And there's that snippet of pink. Beautiful. There's that lace again oh is that all part of it yes my eyes are failing I thought that was separate but it's all part of that lovely that's beautiful I wonder where you got that from oh and that's pretty I know I'm in and out I'm sorry about this another handmade flower with the little bugle beads glass beads And then we've got more flowers. Oh, look, what's in the centre of that one? This is so beautiful. Thank you so, so much. And look at that lace. Can you see it? 
I love it. So let me just double check. Yeah, yeah, and they're all just um, lightly, lightly uh, stitched on or pinned with these beautiful little gold safety pins. Look at that tiny flower there. Excuse me again. Oh, it's just lovely. Then we've got more flowers, more of that pink. I just love that. And each flower is so different, you know, so independent from all the others. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? Ballet dancer in the crimson tutu. I think it's a tutu. And she's bending over. Oh, that's just lovely. And underneath that, look at this. Lovely trim. Beautiful. I love the way she's just positioned everything. Oh, look! Oh my goodness me, how divine. Oh, little dragonfly. I adore dragonflies. I, that's handmade, I'm sure of it. With beads and pearls, the antennae. Oh, it's just lovely. Thank you so, so much. You are a very talented lady. I can see that. Goodness me. Oh, look. Just going to take it back just to see. No, my eyes won't let me <coughs> tonight. And they, of course, we're late at night now. So the lighting in here. <coughs> and every time I come in here, I then forget to go and write this down. I have got to get daylight bulbs because they're I don't know whether it's the shades, it might be, it's sort of mother of mother pearl shades. And it's so yellow, it's awful. Doesn't do this work um, any, any good at all. I'm so mad. Beautiful. So this is um, a whole piece of um, lace, it's just been lightly tacked on, look, there's a little thimble there, oh, oh look what I've done, dozy rosy. Go back to the image, look, that I couldn't see very well, and because it was weighted, look at this, that's on the top of it, how gorgeous is that? <gasps> Oh, pearls, a B crystal. Oh, thank you. That is gorgeous. I just didn't feel it. As I say, it must have been over there, and I was, you know, holding it. And there it is. Look, oh, dear. Oh, beautiful. And we've got a little brass charm there. Oh, it's a watch face. Look. How sweet. Oh. Gorgeous. I love this. How lovely. Gosh, this is never-ending beauty. It really is. So we've got tiny little bird cage, not the birds. And tacked on to a pinned on side to the minute flower. Then we've got beads and a dangle <coughs> dangling, I should say, from that pin. Can you see? How lovely. Then under there is this, again, it looks vintage, button with the diamante in the centre. Gorgeous flower. 
looks as though, oops, sorry, too near. It looks as though it's made out of um, a wedding applique. There's another, no, it isn't a button, I thought it was a button. It's a mother of pearl, like a little mm. roundel of mother of pearl. It's not a sequin, it's the actual mother of pearl. There's the back, look, there's the shell. Oh, thank you, this is exquisite. That's the only word for this. Oh. Let's go along. I know I'm in and out, but I'm sorry. So we've got another um, pad of, you know, there's perhaps half a yard or so of vintage lace with a button holding it on. More of this gorgeous lace that I love, the trim look, a whole sort of um, corner of it, I suppose. It's gathered together. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. <clears throat> There's another dragonfly look. Beautiful. Just below that gorgeous... Ah, oh, it's a large flower, leaves, petals, beads, pearls, absolutely gorgeous. What's next? <laughs> I don't want to go past too quickly, but I've got to, because you can't be here all night, can you? Look at that. And they're so tiny, but they're so perfect. I must, I must see a video or something and see how to downsize, resize. That is a beautiful look. So this whole snippet roll, Avril has beautifully and carefully dedicated to me because of my love of ballet. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Little brass owl. Oh, he's gorgeous, isn't he? And this, now this is what I've been waiting for. This is my first... Oh. Can you see it? I'll try not to move it for a minute. You know what it is? It's a handmade bead. I used to make them years ago, I, I was taught how to make them and they're just so easy but so fascinating and intriguing because they all always come out quite different to what you were expecting, you know. That is beautiful, I love the colour. And there's beads and the um, wire wrapped around the fabric that's underneath. Ah, oh, that's lovely. It's almost like a cocoon, isn't it? A silk cocoon. Oh, oh there's another image. Look, I'm missing things. I am missing things. June. You're right, go back again. So I was saying about that lovely image and the ballet shoes there, yeah? And I miss that image there. Look. Oh, how wonderful. And a third one. Oh, my goodness me. I don't know what to say now. I really don't. I've run out of, what's the word, expletives. Is that right? Oh, look at the little bird. Look. See. Oh. Got me down to a T, haven't you? You know me, inside out, I feel. Ah, <sighs> so. Here we go with this beautiful piece of lace there. There's not just one piece, there's two. Because it's um, uh, like a motif. There would be several motifs. 
and that's doubled over. And then that flower there is made up of a piece of lace and then there's like a puff ball in the middle with diamante in the centre. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't wait to show my friends downstairs tomorrow. I mean, I've shown them a lot, not all, but they, they can't get over them because they've never heard of anything like this, ever. I mean, most of my um, shabby chic things that I've got, you know, that I've bought and I've been gifted, um, you know, people, I hate to say it's a stupid word to use, but ordinary people, people who don't do crafts as we do, they just don't know what you're talking about until you show them and then, oh, they're in awe. So here we are after these two beauties here, three beauties, and that. Oh, I love that so, so much. Um, we are at the end. I didn't want to get to the end. <laughs> so there's this gorgeous, oh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. I can't... The, yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. This, this, um, oh, it is a puff, puff ball around the outer. And then there's the button, handmade button in the centre. And it's encrusted in beads all the way around here. All the way around. And then you've got diamante. It's, it looks like a little watch, you know? Diamante side. So there's the hanging ribbon. So if you can imagine it hanging, so you're able to see each thing. I'm going to just show it slowly, take you to the end as though it was hanging. Do you know what you ought to do, in my opinion, when you've watched this, go back and watch it again? Because <laughs> you will see, as I am, you will see things that you didn't see before. Well, Avril, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so, so much. This is absolutely stunning. It's so me, I cannot describe to you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've taken one photo already. I'm doing this video and I will, as soon as I stop the video, take another photo. And I'll take a group of photos of, of them all at some point, but I'll do this one as soon as we're finished because that's the decision I've decided to, to make. So thank you again. I mean, it, you know, <laughs> I'm sure you are all fed up of hearing me. Just gently put that there. Say thank you. But, you know, what else can I say? This has been a long video, but it's been well worth it, I think. Um, I couldn't have done any less because it wouldn't have done that proud. And as I say, parts where I've waffled on, please fast forward. But, as I said on my last video, in the future, soon, don't fast forward or you might miss out on something special. <laughs> okay, everybody, take care. This really is good night and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.